Hello everyone, I um got these a couple months ago and probably maybe two months ago at most and they run beautifully. I'll actually set them up on the track real quick. Let me go put them on the track. Since it's a band driven engine. But it's got no bands. Finally got these yesterday. So we're gonna put some work on them and then, yeah. Oh, I also got this thing for a parts and repair, but it does work very well. I would do the other one, but it'd take the wheels off. You see the wheel? Here's the other one. This is a band driven locomotive. It's actually. It says what it does. Band driven. Does take a little bit of just strength and a little bit of patience for these things. As it is, it is a metal frame. Metal frames equal harder things to move. Fun time. Fun time. I'm gonna end up cutting my finger probably. <laughs> Since it's a metal frame, I gotta somehow move it. I don't wanna bend it either. So I'm gonna... Just get a flathead. That's all I'm gonna try to do. Kind of just ease it out a little more. Hopefully, I don't really bend the frame. Hmm. This is always so difficult for these. I don't want to bend the rods. That's gonna, my head to be that problem. Now you want to remove. <sighs> Looks like I'm just going to do this first. Put the band rod. Bands on the rod. Oh, wait, there we go. Right there. Hmm. Then put the wheel. I'm not showing this because I'm trying to focus on doing it. Or maybe just the wheel. And then rod as well.
go with one clip. There we go, finally. A little persistence, that's all. Now let's see if this actually runs. Take this over here real quick. I'm gonna end up setting it on the track real quick. See if it gets a little momentum out of it. Full power. Nope. nope. Brought kind of falling apart a little bit. All right, we'll see. Looks like it needs to be evened out. All right, well, that's good. Start. Just gotta get the other wheel off. I don't remember how I got this out. It does rotate with that. Okay. Kind of just lost my train of thought. These metal frames, trucks, whatever, same thing almost. They're always a pain. You can never unclip them easily. I don't know what's there. Let's see if there is a way to do this like this. Probably not, but you never know. jumble this up a little bit somehow. Seems like a pain in the gooch. And oh, there goes the frame. Look where the frame's already coming off. I had a feeling that would happen. There we go. You know what? It's going to happen because you think they're very fragile, and I kind of figured that was going to happen at some point. You know what? 
it's all right. Fun time now. Let's get this back in. Hopefully. There we go. Like a glove. I just gotta put the band on so I can pick it up. And just like that. <laughs> put it on the track. Let's hope this works. Oh. Uh. Hmm. No, this side's not going. Could both off the track a little bit. Uh, I want to do this by hand. It's trying. It's trying. Slightly. There we go. Come on. It wants to. Having a little problem. Probably just cleaning out the commentator, which is don't want to right about there. That little thing in there. Maybe clean it off a little bit, and then maybe tighten down the. Stuff a little bit. We'll see what happens. Get the fiberglass pencil, which I kind of put in here. Always such a good product. Clean commentator. Commutator. I can talk today. Maybe best to clean the gap. Hmm. Do the rods and kind of put them back in, them back in. Gas could use a little bit of cleaning. Do not use metal at all. I'm using. I'm using my thing, so I should be telling that by myself. Hmm. Now why is this acting up? Alright, take it to a track again. Put it on, see if it runs. It's still not working for some reason. Yeah. Finally got it to work. I put three things on them. Put three bands on one side and one on the other. And it runs fine. You can low speed it can do. And it's creeping. This is on, I can't even tell, about 30. So it does very well for it. It does very good for the first set that i done. I've got to do this one. Try to get these three on there and then we're good to go.